welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you back checking out what Chris and I are up to. So in today's video, I am, yeah, we actually ran across this set of dressers at our local Goodwill. So the big one was 55, this one was 45, but they're not in terrible shape. No, nope, they're veneer board, so MDF board, a little bit of hardwood, so nothing we, I always want to run across something that we can sand and leave natural, but we never have any luck. And there's, of course, marks. There's a reason that people donate these things. A lot of times it's because they have damage to them, but oh, the possibilities, because there's so much drawer space. I would love these. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. We are going to give these a makeover. I am not kidding when I say these have some drawer space. Oh my gosh, not only is there multiple drawers, but some of them are huge. Yes, there's a little chips here and there, but nothing a little Durham water putty can't fix. And here's where you can see that it's just a piece of veneer board on top of press board. Both of these tops have these round circles where glasses or something was put, causing some problems on the top, but I believe we can fix that. And I definitely am going to be reusing this hardware because that's a lot of drawers. I see that some of them needed tightened down, but we will re be removing them anyway. Okay, now that we have all the drawers out, let's start taking all this hardware off. So whew, that was a job in itself. So now I got to tackle dealing with the spots on the top of these dressers. Now I have some 220 sandpaper on my orbital sander. This is veneer board. You don't want to go crazy with strong sandpaper because you don't want to cause more problems than are already there. So I'm just going to go ahead and scuff sand it and hope that I can get these spots to feel smooth. Yes, that's usually just a thin la layer of veneer on top of press board. So you really want to make sure when you're scuff sanding, trying to get those spots to blend in and be smooth, you want to constantly be moving that orbital sander so that it does not go all the way down and cause you more problems into more opened areas of press board. For those angles I just can't get with that orbital sander or another sander, I'm just going to go in and hand sand it. Now that we've got it all scuffed sanded, we can see what issues it has, where it needs to have some of the Durham water putty used to fill in any of the marks, any of the dings, any of the missing veneer. So it's just Durham water putty, which is a powder. You mix it in with a little bit of water and get it to the consistency that's workable for you. After that Durham water putty is dry, I'm going to go back in with that same 220 sandpaper and hand sand any spots that I put it on. I don't want to use any electric sander. I don't want a chance going any deeper down into that veneer board. 
Now that we have assessed all those little bitty problems that just kind of add up with time, <laughs> so now it's time to get it clean. Some so hot water, some super clean, and wipe this off. Now, especially where you've sanded and some of that veneer, make sure that your rag is on the dry side so you're not soaking in to the veneer and raising that wood. The backs of both of these dressers are in beautiful shape, so I can't help but want to protect that back. We want to be able to spray these to get that nice, smooth finish on them, so I'm just going to take some time, take some masking tape, take some Dollar Tree contact paper, and just protect these backs. So now that we have some of the spots of veneer showing, we've got some Durham water putty and some other spots, I need to even out the prostate and I want to use something that's not going to raise the grain of the wood to still give it that nice finish at the end of this paint job. So I'm going in with some, just some shellac that is going to even out their prosody. That's not going to raise the grain of the wood. It's going to keep that nice smooth finish. So I'll go ahead and do one nice coat and then come back after it has dried and do one more. So now it's time to get this hardware all cleaned up and I just do Dawn dish soap, some hot water, scrub on a little bit and set them off to the side and let them dry thoroughly to, before moving on to paint them. So luckily, yes, all the hardware was there. That was a blessing in itself. So just want to give these a fresh coat and cover them all up with just black. I think that's really going to make this pop. So going in with some Rust-Oleum paint and primer in the flat black. And then after that flat black is dry, we always need to protect that paint with a little bit of polycrylic as a top coat. So now we can get the body of these dressers painted up. And so for today, we're using that ready to use a black onyx. That shellac is going to act like a primer. It's going to grab onto this paint. And he's using our True Coat 360 handheld sprayer by Graco.
Oh, for the love of drawers. Oh my goodness. Now that Chris has the body of these painted, no, we are not painting these drawers. These drawers are in the best shape I've ever seen flipping furniture. So other than some cleanup, getting the air compressor in there to get some dust off, no, I'm just going to be cleaning these up and leaving them as is. Now it's time to go on with the second coat of black paint and you can see nope it did not cover in one that is perfectly okay i rather much much prefer to have the paint go on thin and not cause any drips and runs as to have to apply a second coat Then now that the two coats of black paint are dry, it's time to move on to a top coat to seal it all in. So going with a, just a Harbor Freight hopper with some polycrylic. And now after that polycrylic is dry, I'm going in with just some steel wool. I, there's not a lot of details on this, these pieces at all. I don't want to distress in it anyway. So I'm just going with some fine grit sandpaper, opening up that polycrylic. Now I had to decide what wax I wanted to finish this piece up with because I knew my antiquing wax was not really going to match and do the best for that golden oak of those drawers. Then the Verithane wax usually on black paint will make a white residue behind. It makes it too shiny. God wink moment. I'd actually ordered this Minwax soft touch wax off of Amazon to test it out since I can't get any more of my Verithane wax. The Home Depot shelves have been empty. Oh, I absolutely love this soft touch Minwax on this black paint. It leaves that nice matte finish. It is not making the paint chalky by any means, just a nice protective coat.
absolutely love how these turned out. I know they are not a major paint job, but they were beautiful as is. They're large pieces, two matching pieces, whether they'll get bought together or not, I don't know, but I love painting that outer body black, the hardware black, and then just leaving those drawers. They're just absolutely beautiful. This is one of those cases that leave it alone. It is beautiful. So thanks for watching today's video, guys, and always give me a kind comment down below and a like if you like this kind of content and you're new and you're checking out our furniture flipping for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye!